Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be doing some tests on free firewall software that you can use on your Windows operating system and we're going to find out which one comes out on top. Now we've got numerous different types of firewall software that we can use uh, but I've selected some of the better ones and also we're going to be using the uh, leak test software from Steve Gibson and also Komodo. Now the firewalls that we are going to be using in this video is Komodo, Online Armor, Outpost, Private Firewall, not sure what that one is, um, Tiny Wall and also Zone Alarm. We'll find out what this one is when we install it. Now I've got Online Armor installed on the system. Now I've also got it on default settings. So I'm going to run this through and the test should run a lot quicker when I do this so it won't keep bugging me for answers I've already set it to run right the way through so if I run a test now you'll see it's going to go through and I'm going to click on block here and remember my decision so that's what I set up previously so it would run the tests a lot quicker I'm also going to do this again and there you can see we've got a score of 340 so let me just quickly jot that down uh, for that okay so I've jotted that down and uh, we can look at the log file here for our test as you can see it's got a full 340 uh, score there that's the biggest score you can get and uh, that will give you a full breakdown okay we've also got the meanings of the test what they actually test for root kits as you can see here and it runs through and does some sort of leak testing on it okay but as you can see online armor come out pretty good so I don't think we're gonna bother with the uh, leak test one we've done the Komodo I think that's good enough um, this will speed up the process so let me just uninstall this one and uh, we'll give this a quick uh, blast with something else okay so that was online armor with its default settings and it come out pretty good okay so now we've got zone alarm free firewall installed we're just going to quickly check for updates to make sure it's updated. We are leaving it as a default settings on our system. So you can see that's running down below there. And uh, we're just going to quickly run this test. Same test here. I don't think I'm going to bother with the Steve Gibson one. We'll just stick with the first one. Now what we need to do here is allow this test to run we're going to deny access to this and you can see vulnerable is coming through already going to keep denying those and we'll let that finish off in a second And that is the final score, 270 out of 340. So I'll quickly jot that down. And that's not very good, to be honest. So we've got 270. So we're going to exit out of that. Let me just uninstall that and then put something else on the system. Now if we've got the other log file here, we can have a look at as well. And there we can see our vulnerabilities, where the vulnerabilities were for um, Zone Alarm quite shocking really the DLL files it lets through uh, the bits part which is uh, to do with networking I think and uh, we've got some other bits and pieces that it's let uh, through like startup programs and stuff so uh, what we're going to do here is uninstall this okay so the next one up is private firewall 7.0 now this is a really good firewall and uh, we're going to be running some tests on this one and we're going to leave it as I said as a default settings we've not touched anything okay you can see here is exactly as it was when we installed it and uh, we're going to run some tests on that as well okay so let's get started uh, what I'm going to do here is just drop that down there and run our tests again we will block anything that comes so we're going to block this and just keep hitting the block And I think that's the end of it so 300 out of 340 which isn't too bad um, it's a lot more reasonable than some of the other ones so as you can see that done pretty well uh, so we're going to exit out there let me just quickly jot that down okay let me just uninstall this and uh, 
we can have a quick look at the results here as you can see vulnerabilities it changed the drive path known DLL files were injected onto the system also the bits part was vulnerable and the startup programs was vulnerable so let's get the next one on okay so let's move on to tiny wall as you can see here we've got tiny wall running down the bottom tray it's a very basic looking program uh, but we'll give it a test so we'll just run these tests again and the old idea here is to block everything and you can see this is letting quite a few bits through it's letting a, a lot of vulnerabilities are being shown up here with tiny wall and that's the actual test complete and as you can see 160 out of 340 which is pretty poor so I'll just jot those down and we can look at the uh, results here as you can see vulnerabilities all over the place it's not a very good uh, firewall at all really so stay clear of that one and uh, we're going to run another one so I'm just going to quickly uninstall this okay so we're going to move on to outpost and uh, outpost security suite is the one we're going to be uh, running for our firewall it's also got anti-malware on here but you can't run the fi standalone firewall anymore for Windows 7 it just doesn't install so we'll run this and uh, what I'm going to do is do a leak test on this one and uh, we're going to block So you can see the results for Outpost, 180 out of 340, and you can see the results here on the vulnerabilities here, quite a few. Okay, so I'll just quickly jot those down. So um, that's 180. It's pretty poor, so we'll uninstall this and we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so we've now got installed Komodo firewall on the system and we're going to be doing an actual leak test of this with their own software and see how it uh, fares. So let's fire up um, the leak test software and what we need to do now is click on test same as we did before and we're going to block and just keep block as we go and I'm expecting it to do very well we'll just run through this as quick as possible And there we have our test. When you click on that, you can see it's fixed it and it is protected. So we've got a 340, uh, or 330 I should say, out of 340. So as you can see by the graph there, we have Online Armour as our winner at 340 points out of 340. Zonal Armour had 270, uh, Private Firewall, a good mention there for 300. I think that was pretty good. And also Tiny Firewall 160, pretty poor really. And Outpost 180, another poor result. And Komodo was 330, which is a very good result as well. So the two real outline winners there are Online Armour and Komodo. And also a good mention for Private Firewall. So they're my three picks there. So I think that's about it for this video guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. It really does sort of uh, help me out if you hit the like button guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos then hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with latest videos when I upload them. Uh, these videos do take a little bit of time to do but I hope you enjoy them and I hope it clears up um, all the uh, questions that you may have about what's the best free firewall out there. Okay. So thanks again for watching guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.